evolution, evolution of, of women's, women's rights. rights. Hello everyone, today we're going to be showing a special video about women's rights with my friend Alyssa. Hi! <laughs> today our story starts in ancient Greece. Hey, who's that? You're not supposed to be in the Olympics. Oh, geez. Get off. Get off. You're going to be thrown off a cliff if you don't or make separate Olympics. Women were not allowed to attend the Olympics of the men. They were not even allowed to see it. They had their own separate Olympics, that we, that, but we don't know much about it. Um, if a woman were to attend the ancient Olympics, which were held in Olympia in Greece, um, they were to be thrown off a cliff. Dun, dun, dun! Now we're talking about witch trials that happened in the 17th century. Witch trials were um, mostly, well, witches were most, mostly women, but men were, could also be accused of being witches. By, for some, well, these are some ways of being accused. When you look at someone, they give you a headache or something like that. So, for example, I look at Rossi and he, people will think I'm a witch. But if they have like a black cat, a frog or a bird, something, something that like, like that that follows them around, that could also be a witch too. Next. The, not, the next thing is if you have like a birthmark on your skin. Well, like basically a mark on your skin, like a birthmark or a spot, something like that. Okay, we'll talk about more stuff. of women got accused in the Salem witch trials 15 months between 1692 and 1693 and only 10% were men so the rights of the witches were not treated very well they were um, so most, so most of them were hanged or executed by being um, by chopping off their head um I can see it now. I'm just going to chop Alyssa's head off. Can she? No! No! <laughs> and. <laughs> Before they were executed um, or uh, beheaded. Behead, beheaded is executed. And the other thing, um, they would go to a court. Um, in Parliament, and they would, would they would um, they would test the witches to see what they did. So, um, well, the witches, none of them were actually witches. It is very sad that they were all women, and most of the time, um, people were were accused of being witched in court. Um, for the people who accused the witch, their family were helping in the court. For example, um, so the person thinks that the other person is a witch. The, so the people from that family say, so, um, so they think, hmm, that, if they think they're a witch, so they must be. And then they go to court and they're always well judge the witch so yeah bye see you for the next interview next up we'll be interviewing robson's mum beck lloyd okay on we go so we're here with rebecca lloyd uh robson's mum um so i'm going to ask her questions about women's rights so the first question is how um, like, what's 
changed over the years for you? Like, have you, when have you been allowed to vote when you were a child? So voting in the UK is for anybody over the age of 18. And so all of my lifetime after the age of 18, I've been legally allowed to vote. And that is because of an act that was passed in 1928 in the UK. Thank you for this question, answering this question. So on to question number two. Why, why did women protest to have their rights? Because women felt and still feel that men and women are equal and they should be treated equally in everything that they do, in the workplace and at home. Yeah. Is it the third question? Is there any like um, changes we could do to improve women's rights? I think we need to keep promoting the right of women wherever we are and wherever we live in the UK or abroad, whichever country we live in, and that men and women are equal in everything that they do. Yes, that is very correct. So on to question number four. This is the last question. So um, can anything like, is there still things that are not equal in yeah. the world? between men and women yes yes so there is still a very big gender pay gap in the jobs that the same jobs that men do and the same jobs that women do there is a much bigger gap in the wages that they are paid and because women have these jobs in comparison to men okay sorry one more question <laughs> um so um, do you think that, um, well, do you think that, um, men should have less rights than women or women should have less rights than men? I think all humans should have the same rights, so it doesn't matter if yeah. they're male or female. Or they, they're black, white. Whoever they are, whatever they, um... What, whatever gender they associate with, they should have the same rights as anybody else and everybody should be equal. Yeah, that is correct. Thank you, Rebecca Lloyd, for coming Bye. and we'll hope to see you soon. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 See you soon and we'll tell you a bit more. We know some famous people who protested in women's rights. Um, now I've got one, um, her name is Susan B. Anthony. She was a women's rights activist in the 1860s, 50s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 90, and 1900s before she died in 1906. Um, Susan B. Anthony, um, um, during her childhood, um, in well, she was born in 1820, so oh, just over 200 years ago. So she, so she, so she, um, women at that time wore over seven pounds of underwear, which is absolutely bonkers, and and even seven pounds is quite a lot. Like it's a lot. True. And very true. um. And so Su Susan tried to change that, and in the 1850s, she wore, like, she wore blouses instead of big frilly dresses that had seven pounds of underwear. Um, uh, during her childhood as well, um, men could only go to pubs and go to school, um, and when she got, when she had to get married in 1845 uh, she which is called Yoldi Rose or something like that um she had to she like had to marry um but she she refused to because um she didn't want to give up her life to a man and she was still 
fighting, um, she was still a civil rights activist. Um, so, yeah, that's another, that's a person who I'd like to share who is, who is very famous. Um, yeah. Next up, I'm gonna talk about Amelia Earhart. First of all, who is she? She was a young and brave girl who flew, wanted to fly across the world and set herself a great challenge. She was as brave as a eagle or something like that. And she had the courage of 10 lions. She was, um, she was very, so she was the first woman to fly across the whole world, I think, Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. Um, and she, she, um, when she, so the first time when she was flying, she had someone, a navigator next to her because she didn't want to get lost. But on her 18th birthday, she became a pilot but some people didn't think she would so she set herself tasks um but people did, but especially people like men didn't think she could fly across the whole world but amelia Earhart believed in herself so she ignored the men and people who were like saying no she should give up she's useless she's a young girl she can't do anything instead she pushed that away and ignored them and flew across but in 1937 she there was a disaster disaster dun 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 she, her plane ran out of petrol and she crashed and fell into a river. <laughs> she fell into a river and <laughs> loads of years later and centuries, they found a skeleton, but then they lost it. And they believed that skeleton was Amelia's Earhart skeleton. So that is the story of a young girl who followed her dreams and wrote and pushed all that bad thoughts out of her mind. Thank you for listening. Thank you everyone who is watching this video that we combined. See you later, alligator. The, the end. end.